It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. L. Hollow. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. Tell it to someone that cares. Just order your food and get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap! And I oughta know. I, uh... Gotta go! <laughs> I feel better now. We interrupt our hostile takeover, none. Give me a greasy crap burger with extra heart attack. We're not serving hamburgers until our hot dogs are gone. Now get lost. I'll take some rabbit food salad. We're all out of that. Now get lost. What the hell is Schweinschachs? We're all out of that. Now get lost. I'll have the thimbleberry pie. We're all out of that. Now get lost. I really want some thimbleberry pie. We're all out of that. Now get lost. I'm not really hungry, and I'm glad I could waste your time. Now get lost. Nope. Way am I gonna eat another barf dog? It's one of what you eyes more toys prank jack in the boxes. Crank the handle and it plays a jaunty little tune until the lid pops open and a live cobra jump. there let's go over to the counter where we can talk welcome to ricky's youtube how can i help you more like ricky's up tubes but whatever <sighs> can't you ever be nice ransom hey it's rick with the stick i don't have a stick these are tubes sure you do it's lodged so far up your ass i can see it poking out your mouth when you talk Jeez, you must need a boyfriend it's a freudian nightmare in here toots well, Ransom, maybe if you weren't such a tool all the time, you wouldn't see them everywhere you go. So you finally realized you can't bake for... No, business was just slow, and I went in a new direction. The town bum wouldn't eat your leftovers, dollface. The only thing your pies were good for were throwing at my audience. You! Hey there, let's go over to the counter where we... Welcome to Ricky's U... I think I left my hamster in the microwave. Gotta run! The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. If I look at, you mean smell? I've already done that. Some face to face my sign.
Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help? Dude, can you score me some more of that clown blend? I don't think so, kid. I need to be responsible for the death of your last two working brain cells. I know a chimp who could do this job better than you, face. He's more articulate, too. Dude, no way! Next time, send the chimp, cause me wanna see. How does it feel to know this is your peak? Dude, quit harshing my buzz. You sound like my mom. Nah, your mom sounds like this. Oh yeah, ransom, ransom, oh yeah, ransom! Wanna hear a joke? What do your mom and my clown car have in common? Dude, no. Me and 20 other clowns. Dude, stop. Nah, I think I left my hamster in the microwave. Gotta run. Just my kind of card, but not for today. Need an I'm sorry card? It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. Yeah, right, like I need this. Maybe another time. Ha 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 Hilarious! Maybe another time. It's an I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. Yeah, it's an I'm sorry your hamster died. Is this supposed to be some kind of sick joke, Mr. Fox? Do you know my cousin Bernie? I don't want to pick that up. Dead hamsters. That up my mood for the rest of the night. Let me know if... Dude, can you score... I think I left my hand. Let me know. That doesn't seem to work. It's my package. No way I will give it to anyone. Let me know if I can help you find anything. I personally am really fond of the chocolate bonbons. I'm here to serve. This is too valuable just to give away for no reason. I think it's broken. This grate is both bolted and welded shut. No way I'm gonna open it. Ransom, what are you doing here? What's your problem? You! We're trying to make sure all our guests feel comfortable, Abu. With that mouth, Abu, of yours, you'll frighten away our few guests. Leave now. What are you still doing here, Abu? I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. I'm not going in there. They did a whole half hour hatchet job. I'm not going in there. They did a whole half hour hatchet job call in special on my last performance.
It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Hello, Dolores. How's life in the big city? Having a lot of fun. Interested in a little interview for the award-winning Nickel? I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. Maybe after the will reading. It's a perfect way to get your side of the story out. Local girl makes good making... making... What is it you make again? Adventure games. Ah, games! You mean for kids? No, our main audience is adults. Lots of shooting and killing, that sort of thing. Adventure games are all about story and characters. Sounds like something I would like. I'm writing a novel. It's about the first female president in 2017. <laughs> I didn't know you wrote fantasy. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Dolores. I'm not sure why I stopped by. That's okay. I know times are tough for you. I'm a little confused over my feelings for Uncle Chuck. He was a complex man. Mind if we talk some more about Uncle Chuck? Oh, I could write a whole book about his ego and arrogance. What else do you think about Uncle Chuck? He was a charmer that could manipulate a crowd. I think I need to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck's passing. Bye, Natalie. Hi, Dolores. You back for some more of my great postal jokes? How is life at the post office? Busy, 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 Dolores. Being a federal employee isn't always as glamorous as it sounds. Not that I'm complaining. You know I love serving my country. Your country thanks you for your service. You're welcome there, Dolores, but there's no need to thank me. I didn't get into postal work for the accolades. Of course not. How silly of me. I'd love to hear a postal joke. Why did the mailman go into therapy? I have no idea. Because he had post-traumatic stress. <laughs> That's funny, George. Anything new in town since I left? Not really, unless you count more stores closing down. Yeah, I'm getting ghost town vibes to the max. I don't see things getting better now that old Chuck has passed. My condolences, by the way. You don't think the town might be better off without my uncle? What? Dolores, why would you say a thing like that? Your uncle brought this town prosperity like we'd never seen. Without him, we're like a rowboat without oars. I guess I just saw a darker side to Uncle Chuck. Dolores, don't you speak ill of the dead. I know you're probably just confused with the grief, but people in this town loved your uncle, so watch what you say. 
I won't hold it against you, but some folks out there can get pretty nasty if you get on the wrong side of them. I guess. Thanks, George. It's great to see you love your job. See ya, George. Come back soon, Dolores. It's a receipt from the... Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? I'd better hold on to this. Hey, Willie. Hi, Dolores. Long time no see. Well, that's what happens when you piss your uncle off by getting a fancy job at the video game factory. Good job on that, by the way. <laughs> Chuck was fuming. I'm sorry my Uncle Chuck destroyed your life. Your Uncle Chuck was a petty, egotistical, arrogant man. You're all right, Dolores. I guess in your case, the acorn does fall far from the tree. What happened between you and Uncle Chuck? He never really explained why he had you blacklisted in town. If you really want to know, I took one of his many girlfriends to see that creepy insult clown perform. Chuck never could stand to lose, even on principle. So he made an example of me. My uncle was such a jerk. You're a sweet kid. Now, you might have your uncle's brains, but you still held on to your heart. Don't ever lose that. How have you been? <laughs> Can't complain. Got some new digs in the sewers with a great supply of mushrooms. Sounds banging, I guess. Oh, it sure is. Banging means good, right? Do you still do watch repair? I haven't done watch repair in years. Not since your uncle blacklisted me and I lost my business. I used to do watch repair for all the rich and famous of Thimbleweed County. See you, Willie. You got I can't push that. I can't pull that. The monkey paw knows. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. It's the Book of the Dead. Take it if you wish. It's on the house. But beware! Beware of what? Huh, nothing. It just sounded ominous. No way I'm touching that. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore, Dolores. The bubble fish has a banana. 
It's good to see you again, Marina. Dolores, you little mojo bean. So pleased to see you back in town. If anyone has given you any trouble in the big city, you say the word, and I'll put a hex on them. I've got a really good one I'm dying to use that will turn their bathing suit parts green. What is it with you and those totally trippin' hexes? I like to get creative with my craft, dear. On an unrelated note, do you know anyone who deserves a permanent talking zit on their face? Oh, Marina, enough with the curses already, jeez. Although, if my sister keeps acting like a total bin bat, I might come back to you. I guess you heard about my uncle? Ah, oh, yes, dear. And I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, though? If you are sad, then I am sad for you, Dolores. Although I can't pretend that the idea of Chuck roasting in the fires of hell doesn't provide me with some amusement. That's, like, way harsh, Marina. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how to feel right now. People really left my uncle, didn't they? It was a mixed bag, my dear. Most of the town adored Chuck, but there were many of us who despised the man and sensed the darkness within. What did you mean by the darkness my uncle had? Chuck exuded an aura of greatness, but that greatness was always balanced on a knife's edge of good and evil. The man was ruthless and fell into the dark a long time ago. I thought he wanted me to be happy, but really, he just wanted me to keep his legacy alive. I idolized my uncle, but if that's all I was to him, then I wonder if I ever really knew the man at all. How have things been since I left? Oh, same old, same old. Leonard ate all the donuts at the Quickie Pal, Ransom is still a jerk, cryptozoologists are hunting the tentacle monsters, the usual. Well, you're the one with the exciting new life as a game developer. Tell me all about it. Do you really want to hear about my job? Yes, absolutely. Okay, but you gotta keep this under your scarf. We're gonna be bringing out these radical new text adventure games, but plot twist, they're gonna have pictures instead of text. We're calling them clickers because you have to click on the picture instead of just typing. Totally fresh, right? That sounds very nice, dear. I already read about that on one of those CompuServe chat rooms. You were on a CompuServe chat room? Get a clue, dear. It's 1987. There's a whole new world of online hexing opening up, and there's no way I'm gonna miss out. That and the internet is great for monitoring my stock portfolio. I had no idea Voodoo was so high-tech these days. Goodbye, Madam Marina. Come back anytime, Dolores. Loose change? Insert three reports from the Bloodtron 3000, Fingertron 3000, and Face... It's not working. It's missing its AT25 tube. <laughs> 